Alrighty, three, two. This is Nitro Nick. I'm here with John Romero of AEM at the 2011 SEMA show. Um, <clears throat> AEM's got a new product out called the Dyno Shaft, which is an on-vehicle dynamometer. Uh, John, what can you tell us about the uh, new Dyno Shaft? Well, Dyno Shaft is all new from AEM this year. The great thing about it is it's, it's an actual dyno for your car. It doesn't infer power. It doesn't try and estimate power. It actually has strain gauges built onto the yoke goes right into the back of the transmission, it measures the actual transmitted torque from your transmission, measures the transmission rotate speed, so if you've got torque and you've got speed, then you can calculate the accurate uh, horsepower for the engine. Excellent. Now, I overheard you saying earlier that a tool like this would be especially useful for figuring out how much uh, power is actually making it to the rear wheels, like calculating drivetrain loss. Right. Because this is mounted after the transmission, this doesn't tell you or try and tell you what your engine made. It's telling you what's coming out of your transmission. So this takes into account any kind of transmission losses you have, any kind of torque converter effects you've got. If you're working with torque converter development, this will this will give you the actual torque multiplication you're getting out of the transmission. So it works real well. It will also, it can be very helpful telling you what kind of traction you can hold. It will tell you how much force you're able to transmit before you blow the tires off or if you're gonna blow the tires off. This will let you put a put in a hard number on what the track was able to hold, uh, and maybe if you're making any suspension changes or tire changes or compound changes, this can give you some pretty severe data with that also. Excellent. Now uh, this is the standard uh, street version of it. Is that right? Yeah. This is this is the sportsman version. The sportsman version. Uh, there's also a pro version. The, the real difference here is the sportsman version uses a cast iron yoke, and it's meant for your your typical fairly low horsepower applications. Uh, this is not really appropriate for any kind of hard launches, any big drag racing applications. So for that, we have <clears throat> the Pro Series. So the Pro, the Pro series. series here with the beefier components is really going to be what the guys in the NMCA are going to want. Right, work. yes. The, the Pro Series comes Pro Molly Yoke, uh, and the whole point here is that since the yoke is included with, with the purchase, uh, we want to make sure the yoke that's included is something that's actually what you guys need. So this is included with all the Pro Series yokes, and that's the difference. That's that's why you would pick a Pro Series over a Sportsman or vice versa. Now, uh, can you just tell us a little bit about how it works? Yeah. Um, Without you know getting too 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 technical, I'll keep it reasonable. Uh, basically, this system there, there's only two components to the system. That's these two here. This bolts onto the back of the transmission tail shaft housing. There's four wire connection to it, power ground and CAN bus. Outside the ring here is a 20 turn, uh, basically a 20 turn wire, and it's got an alternating current circuit. And it runs high frequency, and it works just like a transformer. When this device is slid inside here, this becomes the inner part of the transformer, and it transmits the power. So um, there's no batteries in here. There's no slip rings in here. So there's no extra power um, source to worry no, about spinning there's nothing, around. There's nothing, there's nothing you got to worry about. This gets its power through the air as long as it is simply inside of this, this section right here, as long as it's slid inside. This doesn't have to spin to transmit power. It just has to be in there. And then it also transmits its power back to the controller housing the same way. Excellent. And as you can see here, we've got one of these units is actually up and running. This isn't spinning, and we can just sit here and... So, let me just take a step back here. So, you've got a, uh, to it looks like a uh, breaker bar there. Yeah, just a foot and a half long breaker bar. Electronics-wise, you can stand on it. And, yeah, I see, I see that. As you're applying the force, it's telling us exactly what it's doing. Um, can you do that noise one more time for us? Wow, that's amazing. We've limited it to 150 pounds so people don't break our display. Uh, <laughs> Both directions. It'll read positive and negative. Excellent. Well, anyway, John, thanks a lot. This has been really educational. Thank you.